to experience learning outside of the classroom because you want that lifelong um, love of learning. You want to know that there's tools outside of a traditional classroom setting where you can experience new things, you can um, learn new concepts, you can develop new hobbies, you can develop new interests, you can um, be a more concerned and informed citizen outside of the classroom. If you develop those skills um, as a student, as a young student, um, I believe those will take you through life. Um, I also think that you learn, um, not necessarily better, but you learn differently um, outside of the classroom. Um, when you can actually do things with, with your hands, when you experience them in other ways other than books and paper, um, it, it's kind of settled in your brain in a different way. And I think the third thing for us is, again, it's those personal stories. Somehow I think we can relate better to um, a person's experience than sometimes you know the stories of battles or dates or facts and figures and all those kinds of things. I think when we hear about a person's life and how an event changed their life, that sense of history kind of sticks with us a little bit better. Very cool. I, I think any, a visit to any museum, whether it be our museum here at the Civil War Museum or an art museum, natural history museum, the real power of coming here is the ability to interact with the actual artifacts. Museums by design collect and interpret objects, things that people used in the 1850s, in the 1860s, and 1870s. And for the students to come here to learn about the war in the classroom, reading, you know, utilizing books and websites and photographs and other primary sources is important. But the fact that you come to the museum, you get to immerse yourself in those artifacts. And we've also kind of created the physical environment downstairs in our gallery as well. So you get the experience of interacting with those actual objects, but then immersing yourself in the um, environment that these soldiers lived in, what their reality was um, while they served during the Civil War. So I think that's the real power of coming to our museum and really any museum is interacting with that material culture and those original pieces, those objects. Learning about history especially is, is two-dimensional when you come in a classroom, the book, the teacher, the PowerPoint. Museums give you a chance to see history at a three-dimensional level, to look at artifacts, to look at mannequins, to hear the stories. You have five senses going on at the same time. You have visuals. You know, and it really is a more all-encompassing form of learning about history. I would personally like to thank Nate Grimm for giving me this opportunity to film for the Civil War Museum, as well as I'd like to thank Doug Damon and Peggy Grigorski for allowing me to film inside the Civil War Museum, as well as giving me their take on why they believe the Civil War Museum should be utilized with schools and students um, instead of just being taught inside a classroom. I would also like to thank Steve Acker for teaching me a little bit more about the Civil War um, and the personal side of the stories, as well as helping me film uh, throughout this project. Uh, so for all of you guys, thank you so much. From the bottom of my heart, it helped me a lot. Um, it was a really fun project to work on, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video.